Hello everyone, this is Daryl20, and welcome to episode 102 of Daryl20 Sword Play Series. Soren, I did a thing. You did a thing. I did a thing. Check out my programmer. You like? It's a fancy I'm, little program. Um, unable to comprehend your program so much that it's blank for me. Oh really? It's blank for you? <laughs> yeah, I was wondering what you were doing for the past three minutes. I'm like, what? Is there a card in the slot? Uh, get to load program. Yeah, hit load program and it should load up. All right. Push for now you can see it. So what I have it working right now is when there's a redstone signal received, it checks the qual the purity, the strength, and the efficiency, and stores them in values 0, 1, and 2, respectively. The first thing it checks is the value of the purity. If the purity, right now I have it doing 5. Um, so if the purity is greater than five, that'll probably actually be 50, right? Um, so if it's pretty pure, if we're in good shape with purity, um, then what we're going to do is say, um, check the value of strength. If strength is less than the value I want, which will be 65, but right now for testing purposes at six, um, turn on the redstone signal in the back. And if it's better than six, then check the efficiency and the same deal. If the efficiency is low, turn on the redstone signal. If the efficiency is good, then we're going to turn off the redstone signal and transfer the fluids into the tank on the left, which will be the crystallizer. So let's test this. So I'm going to change it a little bit, right? So we're going to say if efficiency is greater than uh, if the quality is greater than five, then we're in good shape to start infusing, we're gonna say. We're gonna make this, so 65 is the value I care about for real, for strength. So what this program should do, when I hit the button, it'll emit the redstone signal turning on the infusing laser, which isn't running yet because I don't want it actually infusing just yet. Cool? Following me so far? Yeah, I like that program. It's nice, right? And then oh. um, what we're going to do next is, like, let's say that now the efficiency and the strength are both good. We'll make it, like, five to test for, right? What this should do is turn off the red zone signal. So once the purity, efficiency, and strength are all in a position where we want it to be, we're going to turn off the redstone signal and move the liquids, okay? Right. So watch what happens when I push the button. Cool? Yeah. Nice, right? And then I have a lever back there to flip it back to the other tank so that I can test it. Um, so that's working pretty well. Now, the only other thing I want to do then is move these all one point. And what we're going to test is the value of, we're going to make you green. We're going to test the value of the efficiency. So I turn on and off the redstone signal based on certain conditions, right? If the efficiency drops too low, I turn off the redstone signal because this thing reduces your purity, right? So purity is what I should be checking here, right? That's what I'm checking. Yeah, read purity, right? So purity drops every time the laser hits it. So if the purity gets too low, you could lose liquid. So that, where did it go? What just happened to that redstone thing? It's weird. But it should be side west, which is what these are, right? And we're going to set that to zero. So if the purity drops too low, it's going to turn off the laser, right? That's the first thing it checks. So purity, if it's high enough, it turns on the laser. If it's low enough, it turns off the laser, right? If it's high enough, we check the strength and efficiency. If they're not high enough, it turns on the laser. If they're both high enough, it'll turn off the laser, um, which is something that we'll probably want to do. Uh, well, we'll probably want to turn off the laser and then check for purity before we move, right? So this will be when these guys are at the right level, right? Strength and efficiency are high enough, turn off the laser, but then check the value of, are you shooting at me? Not exactly. And if you're greater than Let's say 84, okay. 
we're going to say true. So if greater than 84, then move the liquid. Cool. So that should be good. So we're going to make this 50. This is going to be an actual test of this program, by the way, right? Um, we're going to make this 65. And we're going to make this 65. Save. So get the value of all the numbers. If purity is greater than 50, check strength. If tr strength is less than 65, turn on the redstone signal. Okay. End program. If strength is greater than 65, check the efficiency. If efficiency is less than 65, turn on the redstone signal. End program. If it's greater than 65, meaning the purity is above 50, the strength and efficiency are greater than 65, then we want to turn off the redstone signal and check the efficiency again. If it's greater than 84, we want to move the liquids. This logic should work, okay? So we pop this into the program. The only other thing I'm going to do is change this guy out for a run every second. So event repeat every 20 ticks, okay? And we're going to set single to true because we only want it to run once, okay? So you should be on, right? Now we should be running. We don't need, I didn't want to break that, but it's okay. Processor, you're cool. So we can clear you, right? And if we check, constant 10, constant 10, constant 10. So let's put this on the debug display. So it's running every second, right? Cool. Um, graphics display. I want you to show the values that you're getting, but eh, it should be all right. So if we drop down this purifier, right, and we drop one filter material into there, you should start purifying a little bit of the liquid in theory. Nice, and it did. So now the purity is 10.8. So what's purity say here? 11. Nice. That's what I want to see. All right, so let's drop in. So we're probably going to want to have some kind of drawer with like a void upgate in there or something. Why are you so bad at having wood, Soren? That's something I've mentioned many a time. Go fix this. So the drawer upgrade can go here. So we pop another bunch of filter material in there, right? Spent filter material. So you're going to start going up. When this gets, we have um, one now. Can, I, can I borrow your acceleration wand? You are going to use an acceleration. Yes, because I want this to quickly get above 50. So what this should do, once it gets above 50, is turn on the redstone signal, right? So acceleration wand to this thing. I'm assuming this is set to fastest speed, right? Yes. Cool. So we're at 40. We're at 48. 49.2, 50.8, boom, turned on the laser, right? So that is going to actually do that. Cool. So now what should be happening is the purity is going to drop below 50. And when that happens, if it drops below 50, and I'm going to take out the filter material to make that happen, the laser should turn off as soon as the purity drops below 50. And it did. Nice. It has to be greater than 50, right? And it rounds. So 50.5 is really the number that's the metric that we care about. Cool. Now we throw the filter material back in, and it went above 50, so it turned on the laser. And it's going to keep running until the strength gets up above 65. Dude, that is awesome. This is actually working really well for me right now, and I'm pleased. I might have more filter material in here. I have a lot of spent filter material. 
So tanks can go away. I don't need to worry about valves. Crystallizer, we're gonna use in a minute. Okay, purifier, boom, boom, boom. This is awesome. This is super working perfectly, Soren. I'm standing in the laser. I, I can see that you're standing in the laser. I'm well aware of it. I have superpowers now. Yeah. Um, what I wanted was the auto crafter tier three. Go. Oh. Dude, that was like really close to killing me. I want you to know. I think you I had like more. one or two hearts left. You better oh, run. Okay. You better run. I bet. I like how you're the one with no health. I was like, you better run. I think I lost my item conduit to the void, didn't I? You're also bad at having item conduits. I don't use item conduits. You're bad at most things. I don't use item conduits. There's no reason for me to. What do you use to transfer items around? Transfer nodes or anything else? I don't need to transfer items very often. Disabled. You're hiding somewhere. There you are. <laughs> so you're going to be set to extract always active. And you're going to be set to insert. And that should insert filter material. Eventually this will be part of the AE system, but for now, um, the auto crafter is going to live as he lives. Okay. And we should have a significant number of blaze powder here. So this will also be part of the AE system at some point. So again, when this gets above 65% strength and efficiency, it should stop infusing it. And then once it gets above 84% purity, kick it over into the tank. Nice, right? All right, guys, we're approaching the 65% mark. When we bump up above 65%, it should turn off the laser. Nice. 65.8. That works for me, dude. Perfect, right? So what I might want to make it is like, so you can get as high as 70 with these. So let's make it like 69%, right? So what I'm going to do is take you out for a second and just change those values. So we're going to make them um, 69, 69, save, okay. That should turn the laser back on until they butt around 69.5 or higher. Cool. So that should be good. And then we just need to wait for purity to get to 85%, or I think it's 84 and a half is probably where we'll be at. And then it'll do the same thing. It'll So laser cuts off right at 69.5 right now. Boom, laser's off. Now we wait for purity. We can overclock that. 65%. So we're getting to 85% is where we want the purity to be. 76. You have full health. Uh, yeah. Okay. Why? I wonder if I can hit you from here. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you from here. Ow, I have a heart and a half left, thank you. Oh goodness. Stop that. I'm lucky with that bow, I like it. I know, you seem to. Such a good bow. Here, watch, once we once we get above 85 and a half percent, it should transfer the liquid. We're at 84.4 right now. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Should happen any second. 84.5. I think it has to round, so it's probably 84.6 is the actual number. Assuming there's some level of rounding going on right now. Come on. You should be transferring now, actually. Value zero, second value 84. Yeah, you should be good now, buddy. 
value zero is 85. So testing for 85 greater than 84, you should be fetching liquid and pushing liquid. You should be doing the thing that you were supposed to do. Why are you not working? Green, 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 green. You should totally be working right now. Oh wait, eh, variable zero. I'm a derp, Soren. It's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. You know why? Why? Because I was testing if zero was greater than 85 rather than testing if variable zero was greater than 85. <laughs> it works now. <laughs> very different. I don't think zero will ever be greater than 85. We could sit here all day. Math is good. <laughs> Math is good. I would have been more concerned if zero was better than 95. I yeah. Plan that. All right. So this is now ready to crystallize, right? So we put the crystallizer here and boom. Uh, I'm going to move your thing that you have down here, Soren. So why are we thinking? Okay. Yeah. So Maybe you're probably going to wind up range. sitting. So does it do 85 ADRF for each machine? Okay. And if I place it, it'll be fine. Yeah, maybe you place it. Because I don't think mine's working. Go ahead and place it for me. I, it's behind you. It's on the wall. Oh. There you go. Awesome. I like how it oh, spiders yeah. out. It's not just a direct line. It's kind of like a cube. Yeah, it's neat. I definitely like it. So this will make that, right? And then we're gonna have a quick item conduit system that I probably need more. No, I'm good, I'm good on item conduits. So you're gonna go from here. You're gonna go down to this one. And basically your rule will be, can I? Nope. Yep, nice. So, this chest will always get your empties. So you're going to extract brown. You're going to insert green. Okay. So you're inserting green. You have one inventory slot. You I can't open because of reasons. There's a block above its head. Mm. For testing purposes. Right. That will get resonating crystals, right? You're going to extract those on brown. And then they're going to need to work their way over to here. And you're going to be insert on brown. Cool. So I don't know if you just got that crystal. You didn't, but you need to be set to always active. Now you should have gotten the crystal. Nice. And this thing should be gone. We're going to put the remaining empty crystals in there because we have a couple. Cool. And then you're going to extract on green always active. So what that's going to do is once this is done crystallizing, it should put the crystal in this block space ready to run. Now what we can do is have another set of liquid crystal running through here. Um, what I could probably do is just try and think of how I can do that. We'll figure it out. I want to detect when this one gets used and drop another 30 in here eventually, but maybe we'll get there eventually. All right, guys, just rerouting a couple of the cables here, and I think we should be in good shape for hiding all our wires. I'm trying to avoid using facades, by the way, Soren. 
The, oh, yeah. The Ender I.O. facades. Any cable facade I'm holding off on doing just a little bit, just to make sure it still works, but that's about it. Okay. Because you can toggle those. So did you get in there yet? Yeah, you did. Nice. That's an awesome crystal, by the way. So now all we need to do is configure this thing for turning on. And that's that's a completed build, guys. That is a perfectly completed and well-hidden build. Look, that's what it's going to look like. And we don't even need this programmer here. Like, that's our build, right? And eventually, we're not going to need the crafter here. Because um, the filter material can just go in with AE. How cool is that? Oops, didn't want to break that. That's not the block I want. Where's the laser? Yeah, you. Can you rotate storage drawers? With the tape you can. Yeah. Come here, you. I want to see if you can face upwards. That would be awesome. Nope. Can't face upwards. That's a bummer. Oh well. Not important. We can mouse over it to see what's in there and how much. Cool. So that's what it looks like. That's really good. Uh, you don't actually have to be that, so you're cool. Everybody's good. Awesome. All right, so we're ready to move on to the next stage of this build. So this is going to be our power room, right, Soren? Yes. OK, so do you have any capacitors? Probably not, no. I have some. So I don't know if you want to do like a big multi-block or something, but. Uh, not too big, no. Not too big? OK, well, I've got, no. I've got a 25 million. I've got a vibrant capacitor bank. Where do you want the vibrant capacitor bank to live in this room? Like in the middle, I guess. Like right where that hole is. In the hole or on top of the hole? Um, maybe in the hole. We can wrap power to the beneath it. So like that? Yeah, and if you want power in it, you just go below it. I want to try something. Aw, I can't have the I.O. reading on the top. That would be cool. Oh, uh, okay. Let me go ahead and make a pillar out of it. Do that, what you mean? Yeah, that looks cool, right? Does this side look weird to you? It's like a face to me. Uh, yeah, it does. <laughs> it looks like he has a nose and a monograph. <laughs> All right, so we want more energy conduits? I thought I had more energy conduits hanging around. Oh, you know what? I just used a ton of them, didn't I? Yeah, I can go. You said I don't need those, right? I can move them all. Where'd you no, put them you all? Need those. Do you have them? Somewhere? I have an extra here if you want to use that as our supplier. What's that? I have an extra transceiver if you want to use that as a supplier for the base. Well, I need energy conduits because I need to use them in order to use my power monitor so I can turn on and off the generator as needed. Right, yeah, I just mean like um, for the global usage of the base. For here, yeah, to turn off and on. Do what now? Yes, to both. Do you have energy? Power Do you have an ender energy conduits on you? Uh... Oh, I do have. Yeah, because you picked up all the ones that I had placed, right? Like, I need a lot more than that. <laughs> Give me them all. <laughs> Thank you. That's not all of them. <laughs> That's all of them. That's all I had. I, I had placed 50. You placed 50? I ran them all the way from here over there around the corners. What'd you do with them all? Did you drop them all into the void? The system. I don't know. Soren. They fell. I'll make more. 
This guy, guys. You don't even know. This All guy. Right. This, this guy. guy. That's me. All right, insulated redstone energy conduits. Pro I, I probably have some back in my base. Let me teleport home real quick. I like how we go from like having super fancy bases to try making them as simplistic as possible. Um, all right, so what do we have for conduits in here? We have some redstone. Can you make me ender energy conduits? You probably don't know how to make vibrant alloys, do you? Nope. So good news, I know what happened to them. Yeah, what happened to them? They went into the void? Good news, you also know what happened to them. I That was my first suspicion. <laughs> I want to confirm it. Well, I'm glad you're confirming it, sir. So that should go into this thing, right? Yes, beautiful. So you also cook them up. And then when we're done, I'm gonna to wanna to switch these back to furnace mode. That should Did be enough for now. you that mana catalyst that dupes glowstone? Yes. Did. Well, I, I mean, I can make it. Why? I, did he remove he that? Uh, he might have removed no, that. No, not yet. Are you sure? Uh, you are correct. It still exists. Yeah, he was talking about it. He was thinking about I removing one it. One of the better... But you're going to replace it with a better mechanic, I think. So yeah, something like that. Wow, what's up? Yeah, I want more glowstone. Then out. Power monitor, where are you? There you are. And you're configured for less than 50, start, and greater than 75, stop. Cool. Why does everybody like making the underground floor so tight? I like a basement that I can walk around in. Maybe that's just me. Okay. That's fine. I'm good. But... It was, uh, we were originally going to have one deep, and I was like, eh, let's make it deeper. We can make it deeper good. So that... It's all good. So now that should Fine. do that. So here's the deal, right? This capacitor now, if it drops below half, should kick on the generator. We can also manually kick on the generator. We also want to run the generator's power into here so that it can actually turn back off when you're done. So that's the generator controller. I assume that's where I want the power to come out of. Do you actually have to touch the generator? That would be annoying. That would be super annoying. So the generator Start flying, please. Thank you. The generator controller is probably under here. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay. So that's gen no, that's the controller, right? So here and here. Yeah, the generator connects there. Okay, good to know. So what we should probably have There's a certain level of protection around this area. And we'll figure it out in a sec, but for now. Let 
We'll probably want... Let's move this. We'll let the power flow this way. So you should be filling up now. So yeah, plus RF attack. Cool. And then we'll do... You can just put the power monitor closer. It doesn't matter where the power monitor lives. It could be right here for all that matters. Cool. That should be it. Okay. Now let's just get a few more of these guys to cover some stuff up down there, and we should be in really good shape. So you kind of have to live the way you are right now. I could probably bump that up one. No, I probably couldn't. I think we're good. Yeah, the way it is now is cool. Do I want to get rid of this? Yeah, the manual on off is probably unnecessary. Actually, all is happening over here. What's that? I'm looking at the graph and it's just going haywire. What graph? The, the graph is just like, pew, but I'm not sure what's changing over here. The frame rate graph? Yeah. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Is it happening now? Because I was moving blocks around and stuff. It's still happening. It's a little bit. I turned off my system entirely to make sure it's still just over there. And... Not my system, unfortunately. I, was like, I knew what would happen. I'll take a look. Well, guys, I have good news and bad news. <laughs> the good news is... No, I'm sorry. I lied. I have bad news and bad news. Uh, the bad news is that it's a wrapping up point for the video. And the bad news is that we undid everything we did in the space. Because we, for some reason, are encountering a really weird block update bug. And I don't know if it's something to do with a mod or what. But basically, I can demonstrate it. Um, look how many chunk updates are occurring right now. And look at my FPS graph. And if you look, a majority of the chunk problems we're having are in rebuild near. That should not be happening. By comparison, this is what should be happening in a proper void age with very, like, zero tile entities. Stop building for a sec for me. Mind you, we did make the old world void again and it didn't work. Yeah. We need to spend like two hours on that. I don't know. Stop building for a sec because I want to demonstrate. Oh. Like, it should it should be something like this, like zero chunk updates and, you know, like that rebuild near on the bottom right is like zero. It's it's crazy what's happening. So I don't know why it's happening. See, zero chunk updates. Top left and rebuild near is like really small and frame rate is fine versus crazy number of chunk updates and bad frame rates and bad things. So Soren and I found a bug. We don't exactly know what's causing it. Um, algorithm's looking into it right now. I was kind of explaining to him and he's like, yeah, this is really weird and should not be happening. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> so one way or another, um, there was a weird thing that we encountered. So this would have caused a lot of lag, especially after we started building stuff. So we decided to not let that happen. So we're rebuilding in the new area, which is literally the exact same dimension, but just like 200 blocks away. So you can see the XYZ coordinates are different, right? It's, it's 500 blocks away to be more accurate. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's up, but it was weird. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. What that means is that we have to redo all the building we just did, which I will be doing off camera. So next episode we'll come back, we'll be in this location, and all that cool build stuff that I just did should exist. By the way, Soren, I have the um, three diamond chests. I was wondering about that. <laughs> they kind of disappeared at one point, like... No, I'm moving wanded them. 
Um, one of them is mine, and one of them is, and two of them are yours. So. Yeah. Did you use multiple wolf moving ones for that? Yeah. Okay. From the, I didn't see you change it, so I was like, "Wow, I didn't know they had yeah. tape slots." Yeah. There's some cool wands, by the way. I don't know like how much you've played with wands. A little bit. I mostly use that speed wand. Yeah, the acceleration wand is good, but like, there's other good ones. Displacement wand is cool. Yeah, I've used the swapping one and. Uh, now the building one that you handed me a few minutes ago. No, have you checked out good. this one? See this? All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It pushes it. Yeah, you showed me this, actually. It's cool, right? Yeah. So, yeah, we've been doing lots of debugging on the server right now, which is why I'm in cheat mode, because I've been cheating like crazy trying to figure out why this is happening. Like, adding, removing blocks. Like, there's no reason at all why there should be chunk updates over there in that large quantity and forcing so many render updates. So weirdness to behold. So, like I said, bad news and bad news, but the good news is that you guys shouldn't see much of the pain. Uh, I'm gonna basically rebuild everything I built here with the generator stuff over there. And um, hopefully crazy chunk update things don't start happening. Anyway, for now, Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.